Oh hey, I forgot to get that little mark on the Minish Woods map here in the last part because I have access to it. What is I- <clears throat> what do I get? It is a red kinstone piece. Yeah, so it was one kinstone piece to get another. How ironic. Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I don't think I need to show you how to backtrack out from where that swamp area was. By the way, I've been editing the parts. I tried to make it in a way that you would know the world that we have a access to at the moment, like the back of your hand, so... Yeah. Anyway, on my way back, I'm going to do a little explanation for you. There's another glitch in the PAL version of the game, in that if you try to fuse with one of the farmers there, I forgot who is Eenie and who is Meanie. Well, the one that is Eenie, in the PAL version, if you try and fuse with Eni and you don't have the right kinstone, you know, you have to leave and come back, he will not offer to fuse with you again for whatever reason. So, make sure before you talk to him you have all eight kinstone pieces ready and rare and to go. I should say, one of each of the eight main kinstone pieces, just to be sure that you don't miss out on that, because I'm not sure if his kinstone is random or not offhand so just to make sure you don't have the wrong kinstone when you talk to him later just make sure you have a late anyway i keep repeating myself let's go back to the town because remember we needed pegasus boots well who makes boots all right this sleepy fellow uh 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 and he knocks his shoes off the table <laughs> So that means this pathway is now open to us, and the shoes magically vanish somehow. Impossible. <laughs> so let's go talk to the Minish here. Hey, hey, you're Link, right? You're the one who brought the sword to Master Malari! You're on a quest to help the princess, aren't you? I wish I could go on a quest, but then who would make Zeren's shoe for, shoes for him? <laughs> oh, ho, you need Pegasus boots? Why, you're just in time. We made a pair just now while Rem was sleeping, but only Rem can put the finishing touches on them. Aha! That sleepyhead Rem is nearly impossible to wake up. If you want to wake him, you'll need to get an item from Syrup's Hut. It's a little bit of a track, but we'll mark it on your map for you. And upon doing this event, we've unlocked the pathway through the Lon Lon Ranch. Okie dokie. So here's, here's him sleeping here. Look at the pencil mark on the table because when he fell asleep in them, yeah, he flopped over. <laughs> anyway, let's get out of here because now we've got a place open. And transform back to normal. So we are going to go back to the Lon Lon Ranch now. <clears throat> Excuse the mucus. And we are we can now go through the house. Well, actually, it's a there's a slight um, problem for getting into the house, but you'll see once I get there. So I'm going to chat and see. I lost my key and I can't get inside, and the spare key is inside the house. Ah, oh, poopers. Um, you said the same thing, okay. So, you'll notice that Malon there was in front of that hole before, but now she's not, which means there's nothing stopping me from invading the home. <laughs> And sure enough, there's a vase inside to, to pop back out into normal size. The key is in one of these pots. Oh, there it is. That's one of their spare keys. And now that we got that... Strangely, we can't use the key to open the door from the inside. I, I don't know why. I guess Link just is not good at opening those kinds of doors. Because <laughs> remember, I couldn't open a door like that even my, on my own house back in the early part of the game. Alright, here's your key. Oh, our one and only spare key. I don't know how you got this, but I can't thank you enough. Tell me your name, Sonny. Link? That's a great name. If you ever need to go to Lake Hylia, feel free to cut through our house. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing here. Thank you very much, Link. Come visit us again. And she goes inside the house as well. So now we can go through the house and we'll be able to get the stuff um, on the other side of the house as well. That we, that we have access to now. You, you really helped me out, Sonny. If you ever want to go to Lake Hylia, use the shortcut out behind our ranch. Cow, do you have a kinstone fusion? Nah, I didn't think so. <laughs> I might be able to chat with that if I'm in the Minish form, though. So, here is the hole that I unlocked eons ago. I think, I think it was when I fused with the mayor. And this contains 
Get ready for it. An upgraded wallet! Yes! And now I can carry up to 600 rupees, I think. So that means I'll have enough to get the bomb bag a little bit later on once I get a bunch of other rupees. Unfortunately, I can't transform into the Minish because that is not open to me right now. I can, however, I guess, explore this cave. I'll, I'll, I'll just show you what's here right now for the heck of it. And 50 rupees, that's nice, I suppose. And yeah, I didn't think I would be able to do anything up here because I didn't see anything from the other side. There's going to be someone there later on, though, so keep that in mind. It's, it's a little bit later on in the game, though. So, we need to get across... Ah! We need to get across this pond in order to get to the part of the uh, Syrup the Witch's Hut, with it, which is at a por portion of Minish Woods. I guess I'll go stop over at Lake Hylia just for the heck of it. I, I think there's a heart piece I can get there right now. I... Uh, maybe... No, I, I think actually no, it's not... I can't really do anything here. I mean, I can, but I'm gonna save that for later because it's another side quest dealio thing, and I just want to make progress on the game, so to speak, while showing you around the world, so to speak. And yeah, I guess I can't get the part piece that's where I thought it was. Alas, that's fine. Just go north from here to continue on the normal path, and you're going to have a little spinning whirlwind vortex tour going on here so get yourself to oh whoa, 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 shortcut shortcuts there we go never forget to unlock the shortcuts because they are immensely handy mm, why not let's see what's on the other side of this probably another kinstone fusion oh no it's not it's it's just, oh, the red kinstone piece. That's a nice prize, I suppose. Because I will need more red ones, of course, as I continue through the game. Although I still need more green than anything. Alright, let's start the obstacle course. I'll just go straight ahead from here. And you'll automatically bring yourself up to the level that you need to go to as you approach the edge. And... From here, just go straight down and over the water. It looks like you're not going to be able to make it, but you have plenty of let. Look at that. You have like four squares of let right there. And here we are. Well, not quite yet. Oh, I can do stuff here now, actually, can't I? Sort of. Because uh, I think there's a couple of stuff that I unlocked. Um with the kinstones. I'm gonna make a shortcut route here. This leads to um, a special cave, which I'm going to unlock right now for later, just to make things a little bit handy. Go left from here and then up to the other vortex. There we go. And hop off here. Make the shortcut, and look at that, there's a Goron. This is one solid wall. I'm going to need a few friends to give me a hand. And that's what one of Eni's... I mean, that's what Eni's Kinstone Fusion does, actually. So, uh, Eni is a part of, I think it's like six Kinstone Fusions that enable the Gorons to carve through this cave, which eventually leads to an awesome prize. So you definitely do not want to miss Eni's Fusion, especially if you want to get 100%. And whoops, I am backtracking. That's bad. <laughs> All right, here is the part of Minish Woods I did not have, I mean, that I did not have access to before. There's the Golden Octorok, which shoots three shots at once, like a machine gun of rocks. It's not all that difficult of an enemy, but none of the golden enemies really are. They just take a lot to kill, and woo! And isn't there a chest? Yes, there is, and there's also a heart piece. Uh, down this way, which we now have access to. If you recall from the other side, we didn't have access to that. So, get them both. Everything is falling into place nicely. Um, okay, yeah, I got everything there. Uh, over here, this tunnel. Mayor Higgins, Lakeside Cabin. All digging absolutely prohibited. So I guess he really doesn't want people to get to his cabin to the point he blocks off the path by filling it in. <laughs> But don't worry, we'll be able to get through there later on. 
wonder if any of this grass here contains anything, just because it's by Syrup's hut. Yeah, that hut is Syrup the Witch, if you don't recall what Syrup is like. She uh, was in, I think it was uh, Link's Awakening, if I'm not mistaken. And this is what we need right there, the wake-up mushroom. Ah, welcome! Care for some of Granny's homemade blue potion? One sip and you're full of energy! Please look around. Yeah, you can use this to fill your bottle, and I think it recovers your health and your, uh... uh no, it just recovers your health. I was thinking a magic meter, but no, there isn't one in this game. So I'm gonna just buy this. Ah, yes, a fine choice, my dear. That is a limited time article. One whiff and you're wide awake. That is why it is called a wake-up mushroom. Would you like to buy it for 60 rupees? Yes, I would. Woo! It's nasty stench chases away the sleepies. <laughs> Just face the sleepy snoozer and press R. I'll pop his eyes right open. Pop! Alright, let's get out of here. <laughs> so... Woo! Now that I made... A nifty little shortcut up here. It's going to make getting back to Hyrule Town much, much faster. Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> That's why it's so nice to make those shortcuts. Never forget to look around for shortcuts. You will be greatly pleased. Anyway, boop. let's go get ourselves a pair of Pegasus boots. Uh, wait, actually, I don't have to. Equip the thing. If I recall correctly, and I guarantee that I do, my boy, I think Syrup said to stand in front of a sleeping person and press R. R. What is that terrifyingly bad smell? A wake up mushroom? I should have guessed. So, you woke me up? Thanks, I just remembered I have something urgent to do. Oh, oh, what now? There are more new shoes? You probably won't believe this, but I have a strange habit of making shoes in my sleep. <laughs> oh, we know that's not true, but let's let him believe that. So, you must have come here because you want some of my shoes, right? Tell you what, because you are nice enough to wake me, you can have them. Hold on a sec, though. I just want to finish these this one last bit. Perfect. <laughs> and there we go. Here, take these. Those are my special Pegasus boots. They're so light, you'll feel like you're practically walking on air. Woo! I got the Pegasus boots! And that's how you are able to cross the swamp, because you can run right across the water. Got anything else to say? Okay. Oh, I need to hurry up and get working on that special order. The king asked me to make some shoes for Princess Zelda, you see. Thanks for waking me up. Come back if I can ever help you with shoe problems. You might want to make stuff that wrap around the feet rather than, the, like, feet insertion, because she's kind of turned to stone right now, and oh, jeez. Well, I I'll let you work on that. I'll let you work that out. <laughs> anyway, now that we have the Pegasus boots, I will demonstrate them for you. Woo! Super high speed! This is actually faster than rolling, I think, because you can just keep, like, keep rolling in one direction and slam your face in the wall if you want to. <laughs> but remember, once we got a new pair of shoes, we can go down to Swift Blade here. Ah, yes! You have the Pegasus boots! And you seem to have more skill, too! Yes, I am ready to train you again. So, would you like to train here? Yes, please. You will now learn a new technique, the dash attack! First, equip the Pegasus boots. Second, equip your sword. Third, run like crazy! That's all, young swordsman. <laughs> yes, I understand. I am your best pupil. Yes, yes, you are my finest student. <laughs> Just equip your sword and the Pegasus boots to any button you like. But one must feel a technique, not just hear about it. Copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. <laughs> yep, now you can uh, unsheath your sword while running and run yourself straight through enemies. Why you would need to learn that from Swift Blade and not be able to do it yourself, I don't know. <laughs> but it is something that you can do now. Yes, fine work! You will learn quickly! I will now give you this tiger scroll. 
If you ever forget this technique, you can learn again from the scroll! I use all exclamation points! Arr! You learn the secret dash attack fighting technique! Run like the wind, then attack! Got anything else to say? Come again when you can jump farther than any other! That's gonna be much, much later in the game, actually, so keep that in mind when you are able to jump. So, let's go roam back over to the swamp. And. <laughs> gotta be careful what I run into, though, I gotta keep that in mind. Malon there is selling milk, which you can uh, buy for quite a high price. And, no, oh, what am I doing down here? <laughs> You, I already made the shortcut. Uh, she's selling it for a relatively high price. I think it's 100 rupees. But you're going to need that for a quest later on in the game. And whoa, jeez, I, I... Somehow I'm magically lost. <laughs> I forgot I'm supposed to go back to this way. There we go. And now I go around. And this leads to the swamp. Get out of my way. And with that, I think I'm going to end off the part here because I now have the means to cross the swamp. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I start the gooiness. Well, so much for having new shoes. They're going to get all messed up now. Dang it! Arrgh.